We're going to do something a little different on our video here today. We're going to go over five tips, five quick tips on how to improve your photography. I've been shooting for a long time. I see a lot of pictures. I see a lot of people who are not professional. and There's a number of things that stick out to me right away when I see people's work that uh, I think we'll go over a few of these things we can help improve uh, on their photography immensely. So let's go over a few things. Why are you shooting? Who are you shooting for? What's your purpose? YouTube gave me a purpose. It gave me a reason to get up and get off the couch and get out there and start shooting again. It gave me a place to show my work. Uh, and these pictures aren't just languages in the computer. They put them out there and others can see them. So who are you shooting for? Are you shooting for yourself? Uh, I think primarily we're all shooting for ourselves, but uh, I encourage people if, the, if, you're, if you are just an amateur and just shooting for the fun of it, join a camera club. Join a group of other photographers to get together and see each other's work that encourage each other, that can point out each other's things that they can improve upon to make the, the work better. Number two, how much do you value your own work? It's important that you, that you value your own work because it, it, it means that you'll get up at five o'clock in the morning when it's single digit temperatures outside and you go to that location out by the uh, uh, a covered bridge and it's, and it's snowing and it's, uh, the weather's cold, I mean single digit cold and get shots. If you're just gonna get up when it's fair weather then your picture's gonna look that way. If you want better images, if you want better, better shots, you're gonna have to get up and get out there uh, and spend the energy and spend the time to invest in your work. If you value your own work, you'll invest in it. You'll invest time. Number three, if you want quality work, want quality photographs, you gotta go where the photo rich environments are, wherever that is. Whether go down to the train station, go down to the river, go down to, uh, go to a local carnival, a museum, places where there's things to photograph. Now, the other side of the coin to that, I encourage people to look for pictures in your own backyard. I think as you, when you train your eye, you should be able to go to your own backyard, as, even though you know, know it inside and out, know it every blade of grass back there. You should be able to go back there and come out with quality imagery if you're learning and training your eye to see. Or number four, follow the light. I can't tell you how many times I've been to locations to take pictures and uh, the light just wasn't right. If the picture is of value, if you believe there's a picture there that you want it, come back when the light's right. If you want to get good images, you've got to invest the time and the resources to go and do it and do it right. Number five, composition. Quality photography is all about composition and there's many different aspects of it. The number one rule that you'll hear every time in every photography discussion is the rule of thirds. It's, uh, you can take it for granted and it's the simplest rule to remember. You divide your image in you know, a third from the top, a third from the bottom, a third from the left, a third, a third from the right. You gotta know it and uh, know when you're doing it, know when you're not doing it, know when you want to intentionally break that rule. Leading lines, train tracks going off into the distance. You're, you're telling your viewers where to go, where to see, where to start, where to go, where to move to. It brings life into images. Repetitious elements, I see this all the time. It's one of the main things I look for when I go out photo hunting in any environment in repetitious lines. You'll see this in the pictures I just took of Florida where the bicycles were in the back of the pickup truck. Texture. Look for texture in the environment we go through. I look for it all the time. I just saw it in the uh, cars out at uh, Winber and the trolley cars I was shooting. If you want to have better pictures, take responsibility for everything that's in the image. If it's in the frame, if it's in your frame, if it's in your photograph, it's because you chose for it to be there. It's your art. You choose what goes in there and what does not go in there. You're a painter with a camera. So that's my quick tips for today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, Plan to do some more tutorial stuff. I've been shying away from that, but uh, be getting some questions and uh, want to be a help. And uh, we'll just take it step at a time and see what comes next. So, good talking with you. See you next time.